G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to Gob's Quickies. Now today I'm going to do a very short redstone tutorial on how to make a hopper clock. Now hopper clocks are very useful. Okay, You might have a redstone circuit that you want to come on and off periodically uh, so it's not a continuous signal. And uh, the hopper clock is one way of doing it. Now I've previously done tutorials on uh, the comparators and uh, the uh, hoppers um, but now we're going to put all these little items together to make a circuit. So let's do it! Okay so this here is a hopper clock. As you can see it is just moving backwards and forwards and when this redstone block lines up with this piece of dust it powers the circuit and, and for the purposes of seeing it we've got a redstone lamp there so see it's coming on and off and the way it works is pretty simple we've just got a number of items inside these hoppers and they're just going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and the comparators read the signals from the uh, the hoppers and uh, we'll put a signal through into the piston which allows it to go backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards so let's build it now to build this hopper clock you are going to need two hoppers two sticky pistons a block of redstone two comparators two bits of dust and two conductive blocks so let's make it first things we need to do is we need to place down a hopper Okay, now this one won't be staying where it is because we don't want it facing down. We want them facing each other. So crouch, looking into the first hopper, place your second hopper. And you'll see that the nozzle of that one is facing into that one. Now we want to do the same in reverse. So get rid of that first hopper you place down. Look at the second one into where the nozzle's facing. Place your hopper and see, now they're facing each other. Right. Now we want to place our comparators. Jump up on top of your hopper and on the block adjacent to the hopper place a comparator on each side. There you go. So when things are in the hoppers, okay, the comparator will draw a signal from the hopper and punch it out the back end. Now we want that comparator to punch the signal into a solid conductive block. Okay, because we want to turn that signal around the corner. So this block will be soft powered. We'll place a blob of dust next to each block. Okay, so that dust will draw the signal from the block and allow us to punch it out in another direction. The direction we want to go is this way. With our sticky pistons on the block adjacent to our dust, we place the sticky piston down so it's facing towards the center. Just like that. And lastly, we place our block of redstone in the center of the circuit. Okay, and that's it done. It's not primed yet. And what we can do now is we can run our redstone line off to whatever we want it to do. It could be a piston system. It could be something for a, a, a mob to go up and down to power a, an iron farm or something like that. But in this case, we're just going to use our... Uh, have I got a... Redstone lamp, just so we can see it. Okay, so we'll put our redstone lamp there. So when that redstone block hits that point, it'll go all the way along this dust and power that lamp. Okay, so how do we prime the system? We put some items into the one of the hoppers. Okay, and, and how many items you put in will depend on the delay that you want. The more items you put in, the longer the time in between the cycles will be. Now I'm just going to turn this one off. There we go. Okay, so how many blocks we put in there will determine how long the delay is. The more blocks, the longer the delay. Okay, so in this case I'm going to use cobblestone. Now I've done a little bit of mathematics, so sort of I'll talk, call it gobbatatics. And uh, for 10 blocks, if you put 10 blocks in the hopper, you'll get about a three and a half second circuit. For 20 blocks, you'll get about a seven second circuit. And for 30 blocks, you'll get about an 11 second circuit. Okay? 
Uh, this case here, we're going to chuck in our 10. So put our 10 in there and see the circuit started. Okay, and there you go, and it's on. And one, two, three, three and a bit, maybe four. God can't count, or maybe I was going too fast. But there you go, it is now cycling at about the three and a half seconds per cycle. And it's as simple as that, and that can go off to do whatever you want it to do um, uh, within your builds. So there you have it, one basic hopper clock that you can use in all your builds for all those big fancy redstone contraptions. If you liked the video, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Chuck me a comment. Let me know what you think. But then until next time, hooroo!